Hey everybody, it's Tracking Pat. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to use the DXF in the Prototrack SMX control. First thing I'm going to do is you'll see that I'm at the main screen here, and what I wanna do is go to the program in and out mode. Now, before I get started, I wanna explain a couple things. In order to use Parasolid or DXF in an SX control, you have to have a mouse. Okay, so I do have my mouse connected and you'll be able to see me as I use it, all right? So I'm gonna use it for most of the buttons because it makes it easier in my opinion. So I'm gonna to go to open and then in here you'll see that I have all my different DXF programs and I'm just gonna select this one that says sample number nine and double click it. And you'll see that it automatically opens up in the DXF mode and as all DXF files are supposed to be created, you're gonna have different layers for the different sections that are over here. And what I'm going to do is the only thing I really need is the geometry here. So every one of these where it says show, I'm just gonna to change to hide. Then I'm gonna move forward, hide, move forward one more time and hide. So you'll see now I just have the geometry left over. So I'm gonna hit continue. And then in here, it's asking me if I wanna close any gaps that are five thousands or less. You can change this to make it smaller or larger, but I found in most cases the 5000s works fine. So I'm just gonna select yes, and then in here it's asking me to select where my zero reference point is going to be. So no matter how it was drawn, I have the ability to change it to whatever works best for me. For me, I wanna make it the center of this circle. So I'm gonna select C, click on the geometry of the circle, and you'll see that my zero reference is here. You'll also notice that as I move my mouse, the numbers down here are changing, okay? So I'm gonna to go to continue here, and this part of it lets me add or uh, hide things. And what I wanna do in this case is I wanna shrink this a little bit so I can see it better. I'm gonna add a new point, and I'm gonna come up to this corner and click once, drag out, and click a second time so that I can walk onto the material. I'm gonna do the same thing a second time, only I'm gonna go the opposite way so that I can get around that corner when I machine it. Um, what it add line does, just so you know, is if I was to collect two different entities, it will create a line in between the two. And if I ever have something like this that I don't need, you'll notice right up here, there's a set of parentheses, and if I click that, it's an undo button. So I'm gonna hit continue again, and in here it's asking me what do I wanna do first. So I'm in the program mode, and the first thing I'm gonna do is drill these holes. So I'm gonna select drill, and then I'm just click on each one of the holes, and you'll see they highlight as I click on them. at a bit of an angle, so sometimes I don't see exactly where my mouse is, so bear with me. There's all my holes. I come up here to the top where it says event and click, and it says, okay, tell me about these holes, right? So it's saying, okay, I know where the, where the point is, but I gotta set the RPM basically. So let's say I put it at 200 RPM using tool number one, and now all the holes are done, all right? So I'm going to hit the event button again. It says, what do you wanna do next? And let's say I wanna do these two pockets. So I'm gonna to go to pocket. It'll ask if I want a chain. In this case, the answer is no. Just click both of the pockets. Like so, come back up to the event button. And again, come down to where I need to start filling in the direction. So my direction, I'm gonna use two for counterclockwise so that it climb mills. I'm gonna leave a finish cut of 10 thousandths. I'm gonna put my RPM of 2000 in here for both the rough and the finish cuts. I'm gonna have a feed rate of normal feed rate of 20 inches a minute and go to 15 for the finish and use tool number two. Okay, you see they're both green now. I'm gonna click the event key one more time. Now I'm gonna cut the outside profile. So I'm gonna select profile. When it says, do you want a chain? I'm gonna say yes. Click the very first part and the next part in the progression and the way I wanna go. Now in some cases you'll see that it doesn't connect everything. The reason for that is if I click on the very next part, it's telling me that that gap is more than five thousandths of an inch, but it's given me the option to close it anyway. So I'm gonna say yes. You'll see the whole thing is highlighted now. Go back up to the event key, and once again, I'm gonna come in here and fill in my information. So my tool is on the left, same finish cut, right? I'm going to put the same feeds and speeds. You'll notice down here that they're in there. So all I gotta do is hit the set key all the way through. My part is completed now, and you'll see that round here in this lower corner, you're gonna push end DXF. It's gonna say, are you sure? I'm gonna say yes. And now it's gonna convert that DXF file into a standard program as if I had already programmed it by hand. So you'll notice in here, if I push the look button, you'll see the geometry of the finished part. And you'll see in here, if I just go page forward, here's every one of the drilled holes. 
followed by the circular pockets, followed by the AGE profile. Once I'm done, hit the mode key. The only thing I have left to do is assign my tool sizes, check my tool path, go set my zero, and I'm making this putt. Hopefully you'll see that the DXF is very simple to use and you can do some really tough geometry. As easy as it is to program a prototrack, if you have a DXF file, this is faster and easier than even that. Hopefully you get something out of this. I know I enjoy teaching you these type of things. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, keep on tracking. Hey everybody, it's Tracking Pat. And today I'm here with the West Coast crew, along with Chuck Farmer from Intech Funding. He's the guy who's gonna help you get that beautiful new prototrack right on your floor. So don't forget, next time you're buying, talk to Chuck. In the meantime, if you're enjoying these videos and you wanna see the next one, just push this button over here. If you wanna subscribe, push the button over here. And most importantly, before we see you in the next video, remember to keep on tracking.